was a probation and parole officer working with felons and helping people to get their lives back on track. She's a leader among leaders. I mean, she was the first black mayor in the state of Minnesota. I didn't set out to run for mayor. What I set out to do was to make a difference in the city of Minneapolis. If I can break down a barrier, if I can crack a hole in the grass ceiling, I want to crack it wide enough for everybody to be able to get through. She is generous with her experience. She is generous with her praise. My friends and I started the Harriet Tubman Shelter for Battered Women, making sure that everybody had a voice. Making the world a better place for everyone. Hubert was one of those people who respected other human beings. Sharon is also that type of personality particularly in thinking about how to move bodies of people past their uh, comfort or initial will. She's masterful at that. So growing up in the Rondo neighborhood, I was a witness to the destruction of our uh, neighborhood for I-94. Basically watch, you know, the heart and soul of um, our neighborhood get destroyed by, by the actions of government. I felt like I needed to do something. And so Sharon, is not one of those people who would ever be out front, but always about building those coalitions and partnerships to actually make the major change happen. So it's all about activism. I like to follow in my mom and my dad's footsteps. I mean, my grandfather, you know, taught us as young girls, your responsibility is to your family and to your community. And if you have something, you know, that somebody else can benefit from, share it. I model a lot of the ways that I show up with friends, family, and mentees after the relationship that I have with Sharon. Public life requires a lot of sacrifice. Without my, my husband, Stephen, my sisters, I have four of them, you know, they picked up all the slack uh, in my life so that I could campaign or so I could show up at the weekend events. And Sharon grew up in that kind of believing environment. So when you think about where the Guthrie Theater is, where the ballpark is, the fact that Sears was refinished, the fact that we had a new central library, all of those things, not to mention light rail, Sharon was part of all of those things in building the coalition to get those done. And if you really want to uh, bring crime down, Yes, you have to have solid law enforcement, but you also have to have prevention and intervention programs. We don't have to do all of those things by ourselves. We've got wonderful, incredible partners that can help us on the intervention and the prevention programs. We brought them together. People stand really in awe and in, uh, in admiration of her leadership. My respect for that young woman and knowing it has not been an easy task. I'm glad I was the first, but I really don't want to be the one and only. The, the goal here is to empower all women. We're more powerful together than we are as individuals. If you really want something to change, you've got to get in the game. And what I'm really hopeful about right now is that people are talking about making real change. And it really starts with inviting everyone to the table. Because if we do that, we can put our disparities behind us.